Z does. I don't know what episode this is. All you have to know is I've been moved in for three days and um, I haven't made a video in the basement yet. So let's go do that because today's an important day. Today's, I still haven't gotten everything out of my apartment. I just wanna point that out also. So there might be another video in the aftermath of the move. I believe that open Chewbacca comes down. If Chewbacca comes down, say hi behind the speakers. So I gotta close the door behind me. Are there cobwebs here already? This is a giant wasted space, and if someone could figure out what to do with this, like that's like 12 feet away. Like, what, what the fuck could you do here? You could mount a shelf? Like, like I don't, that's, it's absurd. All right. So this is all the networking equipment I took from home, not home, this is home. I took from the apartment. Ow. And this is my basement. All right. As you can see, we have got chest freezer, speakers, speakers, gun stuff, rack mount stuff, Christmas tree, surround sound processors, items to be reviewed, bullets, headphones are still in boxes. Oh my God, the spider webs. I haven't been down here in like three days and the spider webs are bad. Vinyl, all the equipment from my desks and from the closet, just all the way over. Sorting table, bicycle, foam blocks, my CRT, random wood and heavy stuff and wires and uh, the sim racing cockpit, vacuum, all the mats, ladders. Uh, this is gonna, like, all my tools are here, vacuums and pressure washers and 3D printer. That's where the well water comes in, is my microwave. Um, we come over here and we've got door to the outside, sorting table, the rug from upstairs that stained the floor or didn't stain the floor, temporarily listening area, which I actually need to plug my phone in. Um, if you pay real close attention, you're going to see that outlets like this down here are rarer than fucking eyeballs. Actually, not rarer than eyeballs, but there's two. There's one here, and there's the one the chest freezer is plugged into. So that's a problem. And I'm not gonna use a million extension cords. I will eventually have to come down here and do actual electrical wiring uh, to the panel, which we'll get to, we're a mile away from that. So I have the, currently the JBLs hooked up. I had the Yamos hooked up. Really good sound down here. Like the, the ceiling is all insulation and uh, the paper over it. And it does a great job of like, and then the first, the rear reflections are just like 50 feet away. So they don't even happen. So things sound good in that chair. Um, a window set that they didn't put in this house. Here's my racks, by the way, my ball chairs. I was supposed to have the glass table upstairs and they put it down here, so I'm gonna have to bring it up if I wanna bring it up. The glass is over there, there's a table, the legs are here. My couch, that six foot table needs to not be there. I need that six foot table. I'm gonna have to move my couch. I was gonna put roll, I'm gonna put caster wheels on my couch. I want my couch down here, it's too ugly for upstairs. And really I'm gonna be spending a lot of time doing shit like this, so. Make caster wheels on couch, make the front a little bit higher, that's the way it's more comfortable. That's why I can just roll it around and do things with it. Sit it here. Um, the metal racks, by the way, don't fit under this. So there's four sections where there's beams. So whatever section I set it up in, it basically has to stay there because to get it under there would involve leaning the entire tower of equipment and setting it back up. The day bed came. Headphones. Uh, oh, there's the audio valve, Solaris. There's my glass table, the cinder blocks from my fireplace, fireplace. My UPSs, I need those today uh, because I'm gonna set up my computer to run so I can encode video, so I can put it on my laptop, so I can go back to my apartment tomorrow and I can upload things to the internet. I don't have any reviews to upload, just these sort of videos and cooking videos and things like that. But I gotta get it going like now. Uh, all the all boxes, Emotiva subs, TA30s, HS8s. Uh, this middle section is all the boxes that I had packed. Headphones and more headphones. All my pads, and this is like portable players and daps are all still in boxes. Random shit from random places. My printer paper, uh, adhesive and fasteners. These are all the racks that had cardboard on them and I've, I've sort of like wrapped them around the air conditioning units. Uh, which are very quiet. They're running right now. Listen, they're both running. 
They're both running right now. That is a godsend that they're quiet. I thought I was going to have to wall them in so I could do reviews. I could do sound demos with these things running. That's like a gentle hum, and if you walk away, it's like, oh. So I'll put these, leave these shelves here for now, because if I fill them up with cardboard boxes or items, it'll probably act as a little bit more of a sound buffer also. Bags with soft items in it. Still have blankets and towels and... I don't even know, pillowcases. Here's my kitchen. This is where I used to do all my review. My, all my unboxings were here. This is this was the... Uh, it feels so small here. Everything from my apartment that's here feels so... My phone is ringing. It's like, what is that ticking? It sounds like something gas is trying to start. All right, let me take this. It called me saying they were returning a call to me and I'm like, I didn't call you this morning. Who are you? Whatever, probably the CIA trying to find out if I'm here. Activate my phone. Where was I? I was standing. All right, so I don't know what I'm doing with these shelves. Like I could just put these bins on the shelves. They were in a perfect line, by the way. And I want you to imagine it's like it's Tetris, where if I needed something from the bottom box, I'd put the row over to get to the box, but then the row stayed here. So that's why this box is like way out because I kept moving the rows. So eventually they're just gonna like caterpillar walk all the way out the building. So yeah, back to the moving men move this with all these drawers and shit in it. So I'm like, great. Oh, and by the way, perfectly smooth concrete floors. Look at this. Ah, oh. ah, oh. uh, my clothes, pasta's clothes, hangers, sim racing seat, like all the paint that they left. All, this is all building materials that the previous owners had left. So I'm imagining every single color of all the paint, and here's, where's this mowing? Double wide sink? There is no double wide sink here. I don't even recognize that thing. But all the tiles to fix the bathroom. So this is a good, this is a, a fucking good amount of stuff. We've got a walkway through here, which, the the spiders, there's one big spider over there, which I just, I'm leaving, leaving him, because fuck it, I don't like, like the bugs, fuck it. The round rug that I bought, that I kept under my mattress. Maybe this is why I can't sleep right on my mattress upstairs. This needs to be under it. But um, it's funny because the listing for this house had the basement picture, and it was just a random round rug that's in the middle of this giant empty space. When this was empty, I mean, it's huge. It's like 3,100 square feet down here. But when it was that third big empty space, it was just a round rug randomly in the middle. Um, this corner is my electrical panel, um, built-in generator, Generac generator full full. That's the problem with adding electrical circuits down here is that this is full. They this is full and the generator panel. These control things that are not here because it's one giant panel over. So this is like a sub panel already for this panel, and then this goes out to another sub panel in the garage. I got a lot of electrical things happening. Lots of things. Anywho, what keeps touching my hair? Is it spiders or is it my hair is long? Central vacuum, which I've yet to use. Apparently it's a bud system from Wickoff, New Jersey. Um, all the computer monitors and TVs, my 43, my 40, this is my main actual computing monitor. The two arms, um, my Synology NAS is there. Um, my 50 inch TV from the living room is there. That's only a 1080p and I, I tried to sell it, but he didn't want it. There's my fireplace. I'm tempted, so tempted, to just take my fireplace and the cinder blocks and the tiles from my cinder blocks and just set them up over there in the corner and then I can get the stuff off the shelf and completely rebuild my living room. Like I can, to the millimeter I'll know because I know once I have that in place and then the thing in place that the subwoofers were like this wide, this, this finger width wide and then slightly angled and then the ohms or the heresies on the stands, I could just completely rebuild it down here. In, inch for inch, I'll know how to build it. I do the same thing with my review space because these are the, well, that was in the back of the room. That was the IAM table. That is the review desk. I just put the review desk and I put the dramatic. I'm gonna do one or two reviews in the next couple days. And I bought a like $500 crazy adjustable professional LED light with a big dome. And I'm gonna try to use that, but it's only an eight foot ceiling and the, the literal fucking bubble is like this big. It's like, a, it's like an oversized beach ball hanging off an LED light. So I'm gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i do the dramatic light like this with this camera. I gotta do the, I'm doing the, um, 
the Sivga Phoenix, like the Phoenix rising from the ashes. You get it? You get it? I get it. But I've, this is like a temporary just thing. I've got the, there's my review monitors, some stands, some turntables. There's my computer I got hooked up today, the big encoding computer. Here's the JDM Huat uh, Unraid NAS. I got to hook that up. If I want to watch any TV shows or movies, like I have a couple copied to my laptop because I knew I was going to be lazy for the last two days. I've just been lazy. Um, I'm running off data. I don't have the internet yet. It's the 19th today. It's the 19th today. Um, internet will not be installed till the 25th. And I've been here for three days. So it's been a little, it's been a little bit like hotspotty. Like my hotspot on my phone went from 800 megs used to seven and a half gigs. It's probably up to more like eight now. So I really gotta pay attention. My father's spec two, the review chair here. Let's give this a, uh, oh, hold on, ah! This is the one with two, hold on, I gotta, there's a, there's a, there's a thing. There we go. There, now we're in review. Oh, I sprained my left wrist, by the way. Like middle move, mid move. It's gonna be weird. I'll have waifus at least. At least I'll have waifus, which the laptop for this is upstairs. I gotta set up a couple items on the table for like, I need amps and things. Uh, uh, Arish has gotta be here. I wanna hook up the IFI ICANN signature stuff because I told people I would do it. And it's good enough to put up here at the desk, but I got, I got the two Soundrise stands. So I'm gonna have like just random equipment. Oh, by the way, these chairs also slide like They have the rollerblade wheels that I added on to these chairs, and it's just so smooth. Like, it's like... Won't crash into my desk. Uh, so yeah, I, I'd say the things that are still at the house are all in the closet I built, or all the empty boxes. It was just shit that I didn't think the movement would want to move. Apparently the moving men, the moving company was both terrible at phone conversations and pretty amazing in practice. Well. They were, I can't blame people who have spent seven hours moving my shit for like lazily moving things towards the end, like just throwing it like fast, let's get the fuck out of here. I don't blame them for that, but they said they would literally walk in if you touched nothing, if you packed nothing in your house and left it just the way you lived and you called them, they would go and they'd put everything, that they would hate it, but they'd put all your plates in boxes. Well, they said they went to a place that just had plates, just everything was just still there. They had to individually wrap plates. Like, I took my plates myself because I didn't want to put any risk on them. And when I told them I did, like, eight trips, they're like, why? And I'm, I showed them this. Well, they kind of had to see it. Like, yeah, man, thanks for not having us move this shit because there's no way that they could do the amount of moving they did. And it was four guys that packed the truck and three guys that unloaded into this place. They drove around the back and were able to come straight down. Oh, and this is the glass table that was up in the loft. And I may have made a mistake by bringing it here and not putting it into what I could consider using as an office. But yeah, no, that's like an eight foot piece of glass. It is a heavy motherfucker. The actual aluminum base is light though. Um, cat whiskers, people were asking about cat whiskers there and here. This is all the stuff that was sitting on my like tube amp on my desk. This is an important box. So I'm just basically going through one box at a time, just trying to figure out where this was, what it is, like, look, there's my, um, I just have the fan running. There's my Tor balanced amp. This has to be reviewed. This is a to be reviewed item. This goes on the to be reviewed item shelf. So that, uh, I didn't really come down here yesterday. I moved it on this, the moving men did the 16th. I did a couple things sorted. I was exhausted. I was up three hours that night. Um, so after the 16th was the 17th. I was down here looking for th certain things to like make life livable and I ended up going through a bunch of boxes and then uh, there's only three, four bags here now instead of like seven because I have my mattress set up upstairs. Uh, hangers I got to bring up so I can hang my shirts. I got to get more hangers in the house. My bidets aren't here which means this place isn't really a home yet. I did spend a good deal of time changing out all these LED, all these lights in this basement now are LED. There were, because when you turn off the lights, that switch is 12 sockets, and those 12 sockets had 11 incandescent 100 watt bulbs and one curly cue bulb that took like forever to warm up. 
and now they're all just 100 watt. Actually, these are 60 watt equivalent LEDs. The 100 watt equivalent LEDs are showing up today. And I'm probably gonna leave these 60s down here because I'm gonna end up doing like track lights or something spectacular down here. Uh, I'm also probably gonna do mobile walls. I'll build just like seven or eight, six foot long wheeled sound panels essentially. So that if I need to like make a room, I could just take them off the wall and go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have made a room in the basement for, for whatever I need to do. I don't, know, I don't know what I need yet. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm so tired, my wrist hurts. My back hurts even though I'm sleeping on my bed with my cover. I need to find my fuzzy thing. It might be that one. I think it's gonna show. Like this has been the, the only reasons I've come down the basement so far is just to find shit that I know I need. Metal rack, headphone boxes, mini rigs, yaxi pads, that's not it. My shorts. It's you. You're upside down, aren't you? And I made sure they put a line of boxes so that I could walk on either side. They understood exactly what I was talking about. When I'm like, hey, could you do it like this? Yep, there it is. Oh, <laughs> left wrist. Oh, that hurt. I could see the white fuzzy. Hard drive boxes, tools, and fur. So I need to open this up so I can get my furry cover for my mattress because I'm going to be sleeping up there on the floor until the 26th. 25th. 25th is internet install. There's 24th, 25th, 26th all have things happening. And 26th is the carpet cleaning, guys. And when the carpet cleaning's done, I could then put my bed in the bedroom where the bed belongs, but I gotta make sure my friend's here because my mattress is heavy as fuck. So until then, until like the 27th, I'm probably going to be sleeping in the middle of my living room or den or whatever the fuck area you wanna call it. So I'm just going through boxes. I'm gonna try to get Videos filmed. Obviously, I'm filming videos. I'm filming this video. I like this dramatic, like, pull chain. Reviews on. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm still, I'm still working my brain around shit. So, what I've got to do now, right now, pick a place. Probably this table, honestly. Because it's far enough away from that. It, it's going to be temporary, but it's going to be temporarily permanent. Like, I'm imagining a month probably plus of it not moving from this spot. But I need to set up, when the internet comes in, it's gonna come in in that corner. Hopefully down here. I'm gonna see if they'll just run it straight down to the basement because I don't really need the modem and stuff upstairs. It could all be fine down here. And it's not moist down here. Everyone's like, oh my God, the moisture's EOS in the basement. I'm gonna put a dehumidifier down here, but I don't think it's gonna be needed. I think the air conditioners cycling the air. I mean, they're pulling and blowing. They suck and blow, and blow and suck. I think it keeps pretty dry down here. Like I'm, it's just cool and nice. But I'm gonna set this table up with my computers and my monitor and make video and code go. And also I bought um, this. I unboxed this on this channel. This is the high gain dual band antenna. And I'm gonna see if this works so that I can have my phone hot spotted for the next couple days at least First thing you gotta do, by the way, if you ever fucking have this problem, turn off Windows updates. You could tell Windows updates to not work for seven days, and oh my god, because that first day I went from 800 megs to five gigs of data usage. I only have 15 gigs for the whole month, so that sucked. So now I shut all that shit off. I don't only hotspot my phone when I absolutely necessarily need to. Like if I'm searching shit out I don't wanna do it on my phone, I'd rather be on a laptop, and that's when I hotspot my phone and can actually do things. Uh, hopefully I have all the cables I need. Power cables are there. That's computer stuff, but like old computer stuff. Having clear boxes was the greatest decision I've ever made. Like $150 in clear boxes, easily worth it. Easily worth it. All those, all those ones, I've had these already. If I didn't have these, if I could go back and do it again, I'd have $250 worth of clear boxes. And everything would be in a clear box. Just, just put 10 items in it. They're $5 a box. So when you're done with the boxes, you could literally sell them for probably three or $4 a box. Just go to Craigslist, be like, stack of 10 clear boxes, 40 bucks, who wants it? 
Someone will buy that not knowing they can go to Costco and get them new for five dollars a box. Just do. Do 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 do. Anyway, maybe I'll set my see that's a pile of shingles that I aren't mine. If I could put the fireplace like there, and then I could set speakers up like there. But again, there's no power. Actually, there is power right there. That's for the alarm panel. I could split off the alarm panel plug. There's a plug there, and there's a plug there for the vacuum. So I have two plugs by the electrical thing, but then I only have a circuit box there and one there. So yeah. And um, then I get to come over here and pick and choose which equipment I'm putting on the desk. So we need the Arish. Got my stack of Gashelli shit. I need an Arish. The power supply should be like just right behind it. And well, you don't have to watch me do this. This is my. This might be another video. The, the day art. Do we do the day art? I have that on my desk. Desk. I've got. I've got an abundant amount of choices. You know what? Are you the element too? Oh God, I packed these in a little bit too tight. Oh God. All right, this will be what I hook up to my computer for sound because I don't have anything. So this is on the review desk, the Arish, and this is just, like I just need something to plug into my computer to make headphones work so I could monitor for audio levels. Boom, element two. Boom, boom. Let me hear you say, whale. Well. 